What's up YouTube? What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today video. So today video is going to show you guys some top five broken guns to use in Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 Reloader. These guns you should try out today because like I'm telling you guys, you want to get better. You want to destroy lobbies. You want to go against like going get switch hard hearts like that using these guns like dominate lobbies drop a new pop off etc etc these class setups with these guns or i could say these guns you should use in modern warfare 3 season 1 reloader only for multiplayer because i know warzone i mean i know people don't use uh, multiplayer class setup in warzone but the people who play multiplayer use this class setup this class setup i'm telling you guys it's so good but um Leave, leave a comment below. Have you guys try all the DLC weapons like that in Modern Warfare, you know, three and the uh and the challenges and the, or the weekend, uh the weekly I can just say that and then uh in the battle pass as well of the HR M9 and then the Tacwa Eradicator like that as well though. But before I start this video as well, smash that like button and subscribe. Share the videos. Roll to 800 subscribers and uh just want to get that rid of. Roll to a thousand subscribers on the channel. Don't forget to follow my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Post close on there. Uh, updates what's going on, on Twitter. But anyway, the further ado, let's get right to show you guys these top five broken guns in Modern Warfare 3. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you guys my first law right here. We got the HRM9, the best SMG in Modern Warfare 3. Everybody using this gun in multiplayer war zone. I'm telling you guys, this gun is actually killed faster. The crazy thing is this gun does have a crazy fire rate and it's so broken and it's overpowered like that further. I would have another class of the video, maybe uh just stay tuned, have notifications on this on say though. We're gonna explain you guys this class of the so the muzzle we got the sinus suppressor S. It's actually a good sinus really help out undetected by radar, but velocity damage range and show you guys the details. So even though kind of chalk up the hair was on it and the vehicle of the recoil control, but look at that range, it's incredible, man. Got five percent, five percent, and you got that plus twelve point nine percent bullet velocity. So if you guys don't know what bullet velocity mean, I mean bullet travel, and then with the damage. It mean like uh, close range, long range, and uh, mid range engagement like this. So try it out. Very, very good. Uh, barrel. We got the Princess Long Barrel. It's actually the best barrel to use though for it on this gun. Or you, you can use the third barrel because it does have undetected by radar, recoil control, and gun control. But everything just chalk on the bullet velocity and range. But this one is very, very good. We got a lot of bullet velocity and range. In with the sway and fire invisibility is very, very good. Help out with damage, range, and accuracy. But everything just chalk mobility. So I'm sure you got some details as well. So this is the detail. Like look at that range, just 25%, 25 percent of the effective damage range and minimum damage range. And you got 30% of bullet velocity. This barrel is actually good to try it out. What the underbear? We got the brand heavy support grid is actually the best underbear everybody use or you can't use different ones There's other modern warfare three underbears you can't use but this is this is so good like everybody use on attack with uh eradicator or whatever like they use every gun for it or like a swarm like that but on the pro we got gun control aim it sway aim it sway horizontal control and a little bit of the fire visibility get the job done but kind of throw off that variable of plus four percent but at least you got uh gun control and horizontal really help a lot and they throw off the adsp as well but get the job done so try it out with the rib grip we got the PCS 90 assault grid is actually the best on wait regret my bad not on the barrel but to use to actually help out recoil for it like look at that you got look you got a lot of gun control a little bit of recoil control so you got that good control where you're gonna help out a lot for it though because it's 10 percent so yeah that's what I'm saying though so try it out but the stock we got the folding stock that's actually the man to myself the best stock to use because you got recoil control gun control and you got fire instability even though I know people might say this uh second bear is good because it got moving Aiming walking speed and that sight speed. So I never tried it out, but maybe next time when I make another video with this gun, I'll see for myself like that. That's what I'm saying. But try out this third bear. It's actually good. It kind of throw off of the ADS speed, but it's help out real recoil control, everything on the recoil control and details to try it out. But try out this uh first loyal guys. It's actually the best loyal to try out. It's actually a good class setup. Actually so good. Actually so shreds. Like it's so good though, for it all. And also if you guys know it does have a wait. It does have a 50 round drum as well, so I'm sure you got the 50 round drum. So if you guys didn't know, like past past days, right now you watching got you guys watching the video, it was locked. Like these two right here was locked. Now they kind of fixed it, so people could use the 50 round drum and it's round drum. So yeah, though man. But I'm gonna show you guys the second loadout right now. So show you guys the second loadout right now. It's the Taqua Revolver, man. This LMG is the second LMG you get 
on the challenges on weekling seven and i hope you guys love that class of the, for the first class of the smg but now i'm going to explain you guys this class of this gun so right here on the muzzle we got the shoulder showdown strike suppress suppress re silencer is actually good silencer really help out with undetected by radar the crazy thing is ain't nothing on the comm ain't nothing on her or if you guys would like use a different silencer like this uh vt7 spitfire suppressory s this really help out with undetected by radar recoil control velocity and damage range or you don't want to use you can't just use this one but to my side i i could say i probably could just use this one because it really does help out a lot you know for uh, but the boxing and game damage and recoil control, but the details on her, you got to tell the range and like I said, recoil control. But if I could use the disc for her, just nothing on her, everything just cool. But you undetected by the radar like that, you know, so somebody can see you on the map like that and stuff. But I mean, I know for a fact this is perfect. The first one perfect, and the second one is good too. But it kind of throw off everything on the handling of ADSP, so it's gonna be chalk and spread the fire speed. But it get the job does try it out. With the barrel, we got the LRL long barrel. It's actually the best barrel to use on this LNG or the tackle revolver. On the pro, we got a lot of bullet boss in range, bullet travel, and I can say close range, long range engagement. And then we got the aim of the sway. We got aim walk speed and recoil control a little bit, but it get the job done. Look at the details. If this barrel really help out with moving speed and I can say ADS speed, but it kind of chalk everything or the accuracy and handling, but we got a good range and good recoil control on the Harrison and the Veracruz to try it out. With the underbear, we got the Slogger Tackle. It's actually a Modern Warfare 3 underbear. I use this and uh, it's it's good. You know, it's really help out with hit fire sprint and then recoil control and aim walking staying in. So I ain't gonna lie to you guys. It's this literally you have to use all these underbarrels to use on this LMG. So you can't use like the actually underbarrel on the assault rifle, you know, or the tackle, you know, eradicator like that and stuff. But this is actually a good, you know, underbarrel to use. And the details on her, look at this, a recoil control, just crazy. All that just four. 0.5% just crazy. Then we got sprint. I mean, uh, hit fire sprint meant uh, uh, negative 10.2% of the accuracy to try it out. And you gotta throw off that ADS speed. So, yeah, but it's still good. Help out range. I mean, uh, recoil control and accuracy to try it out. With the magazine, we got the 50 round 762 uh, Benton. If I'm saying that right, or B E L T. This is actually my first time I try out this 50 round drum. If you guys watch my video of this gun, this actually really help a lot. I mean, even though it's a hundred round drum on this gun, I could have just used that. But maybe next time I might use it while the you know these magazine. Cause look at this, they got a 200 rounds. Like, dang, man, it's just crazy though. I know people in wars are gonna be using that for real, especially hackers. Like I said it. But on the pro, we got a lot of moving, a lot of ain't outside speed, and a lot of I mean a little bit of speed, a little bit of real quick days. So I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Like, what you guys prefer, the 50 round or the hundred rounds? But I know for a fact the 50 rounds really help a lot because you got moving and you can reload as well. So you you could just hide somewhere low and then you good like that as long as you have fast hands that's what i'm saying though so try it out and then with the rip grip we got the i could say jp20 um grip i guess or p grip whatever aiming uh i don't know how the hell they do words like that what the hell they mess it up but anyway on the pro we got the aim the sway a lot uh gun control and recoil control all that just insane help out accuracy and recoil but the details on her you can look at that recoil control 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent is very, very good but it kind of decrease of the ads moving speed of negative 7.3 percent but it get the job done have our recoil so try out this class look guys of the tackle oh wait what what the heck i just do right there what the heck the try out this class of the tackle revolver everybody use this gun this is my first time try it out like if you guys watch my video this, this actually is good class up man show you guys the third law right now show you guys my third law we got the ram 7 man this class up i actually make and i never tried this class up i never tried that barrel and i did try out that muzzle but this actually a good class up the crazy thing is this class up i've seen people use in warzone and this actually just shreds though for real though. I heard people say this the Ram Savage class that everybody using Warzone has zero recoil like that. And I think the Ram Savage got buff in Warzone, so I, I don't know for sure though. But uh yeah, it did get buff in multiplayer, but I know Warzone it probably did though, for real though. But anyway, I'm sure you guys this uh explain you guys this uh class of the Ram Savage. So the muzzle, this is a uh X10 per 10 290. Muzzles really help out crazy stuff of that you know pro everything on the vehicle and then it's, it's a lot of a lot of vehicle so it's kind of gonna make that gun rise up but we got that gun control and the hair was only gonna really help a lot but the detail on her you can tell the difference of the recoil control of the gun control of the Arizona and the vehicle so it's very very good but kind of throw off that ADSP to try it out with the underbarrel oh my bad the barrel my bad mm. 
uh current we got the hand wound long barrel this actually is the best barrel i remember last time i used the other i think it was this one or maybe one of these other barrels. i think it was this one right here but this barrel right here everybody used this and the crazy thing is you got a lot of bullet velocity and range bullet travel you got range and close engagement long range close range uh mid range you know we got image of sway we got fire invisibility just a little bit but show you guys the details the details on this like look at that range it's crazy like look at that bullet velocity 25 man 0.5 percent it's just insane don't do everything else on the 50 range and memory their range is 21.3 percent just actually the same but even though ADS uh, moving speed and sprint to fire speed and accuracy is chalk, but it get the job done. So try it out. I seen people using words on, so why not use it? You know, under barrel we got the burn heavy support grid. It's actually good under barrel on the purple. Got a lot of gun control. Got a lot of uh, aim of sway. Got a lot of heroes on the rear control, and then we got a little bit of fire invisibility. Even though the vehicle is chalk, but it get the job done. Really help a lot. Even though the you got to right though of the heroes on the rear control is like a little bit, but at least we got the you know the recoil gun control. I mean run. Gun kick control, that's what I'm trying to say. Really have a lot, so try it out. With the magazine, we got the 40 round magazine, or you could just use the 30 rounds or the 60 round drum. This way, everybody uses in Warzone and multiplayer, but I never tried the 60 round drum, but I might try it out maybe next time. I just gotta see. But 40 rounds is actually the, the win because, I mean, why not? Well, where you guys want to choose for it though? But I know people like using the 30 rounds, so they don't want to reload slow, but uh, yeah. Choose what you want, but 40 rounds is the best to use, get a lot of kills, or 60 rounds. But 60 rounds reload slow, but that's why I say pick the 40 rounds, because you don't have a lot of, uh, 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 you know, ADS and reload slow like that with the 60 rounds, so try it out the 40 rounds. And then with the stock, we got the HVS 3.4 pin. This is the stock everybody use, so it really help out with a lot of gun control, a lot of recoil control. Just screw up, make this gun actually screw up broken laser and straight up lazy people man have zero recoil so try it out but free free try this class with the guys are the ram savage and modern warfare three season one reloader this ashy of uh, top three class of the like look at this they have zero recoil man show you guys the fourth class up right now show you guys my fourth low out right here we got the wsp swarm the crazy thing is this gun got buffed and modern warfare 3 so what they did was increase maximum damage range from 4.6 me, uh, meters to 6.6 meters to plus 50 percent and increase the nerve mid damage range from 7.9 uh, meters to 11.7 meters to plus 48 percent and yeah man this gun is insane though i can't wait to try out this gun again with a different class of the oh i probably use this class of the i don't know i want to find out but i'm gonna explain you guys this class of the so on the barrel we are using the wsp relentless 90 long barrel it's actually the best barrel everybody using warzone and i can say uh multiplayer but you know it's crazy that a lot of people was really upset because the wsp swarm did not get nerfed in warzone but it got buff in uh multiplayer if i'm right or wrong but uh, I just show you guys the passions already. But on the pro, we got a lot of Bilobosky and range. You got a lot of, of aim and sway, a little bit of recoil control, and a little bit of that recoil control, uh, gun control, my bad, and recoil control. But it's very, very good. Help out with damage, uh, range, and like I said, recoil control. But the details on this, look at this barrel. Just actually insane, though. Or if you guys don't want to go loud, because I don't have no muzzle on this barrel, on this, I mean, you know, the muzzle on this gun, uh, the, the control, the recoil, like that and stuff. But at least you could use something like if you want to have undetected by radar with this right here. Really good. I mean, you don't have to radar by it because you got undetected by radar. A little bit of recoil control and I can say gun control, but it's very, very good. But it kind of throw off the boss in range. But this is actually the best one. Or you don't or you don't want to use it, you could use different, like remove the underbarrel or something like that. That's what I'm gonna say though for though. But the underbarrel we got the burn, heavy support grid is actually a good underbarrel on the pro. We got a good control. We got the aim of the sway. We got the Harrison recoil control. We got fire invisibility. Very help a lot. The details on this one is all about like recoil control, uh, recoil gun control. My bad. And the Arizona, uh, so yeah. So try it out. That I could say that even though the Arizona gonna really help out that you know gun control. So it kind of throw off that vertical, but it get the job done. And it kind of throw off the ADS speed, but like I said, it get the job done. Help out recoil. So try it out. Magazine. It don't matter what magazine you use, but. 50, 100 round drone is actually insane though for real though. i seen people use it going crazy drop nukes pop off got quad fees and stuff like that and warzone and multiplayer but if you don't want to use the 100 round drone you can't just use like the 50 round 40 rounds or you know wherever like that you want to use though for real though but a lot of people was so upset because like a lot of people said they should remove the 100 round drone from warzone 
I mean, if they do remove it, the 100 round drum of this gun in Warzone, please do not remove it in multiplayer, or they might will, but it depends on like that. But try out the 100 rounds or other drums if you want to, or just use the uh, normal rounds, the 32 rounds, but yeah, try it out. And then we got the rear grip, we got the WSP rip, uh, rip ring grip. It's actually good, really help a lot with physical position a lot, and we got a little bit of that aim of the sway, this accuracy, but it gets the job done. It's all about accuracy though, for those you guys can see right there. A little bit bar there, but it ain't nothing crazy. But the only thing crazy is the 80s moving speed of negative three, uh, 23, my bad, 0.5%, but it gets the job done, let's try it out. And then with the stop, we got the FSS Rampage uh, 6, or I can say 7, or I can say VII. Uh, tackle is actually a good stock. I've seen everybody use it. Some some people use this heavy stock right here because it does have you know gun control, really help our recoil. I used it before, but I like to switch it up to class like that. But on the pro, we got aim it a sway a lot. I'm on my bad, aim, aim down sight speed, aim it a sway. Oh, well, I said that right. Why not? Uh, firing invincibility a lot. And the details on this one is all about ADS, but it kind of throw off that moving speed and cross moving speed and uh, aim down sight speed. Uh, moving speed my bad and yeah it's very, very good how about ADS yeah, so try it out and accuracy so try out this class so like other the WSP swarm man this gun got buff and my warfare 3 just mind blowing but it's actually a, a crazy class up if you had if you know how to handle recoil of this class up that's what I'm saying though man but I'm gonna show you guys the final low up right now so i'm gonna show you guys my final class to the we got the mcw and i know you guys can probably ask me why this is the top five class to the because if you guys didn't know the uh after pack got buff yes it got buff i'm gonna show you guys the patch on the screen oh i can explain to you as well so what they did to this alpha pack is they increased arm uh damage multiplier from 1x to 1.x to plus 10 percent and they increased the i think head or head Hand, I can say that uh, damage multiplier from 1x to 1.1x plus 10%. So why not put this in the top five class? Because they buffed this. But I got to show you guys some else when I go to the barrel. And they kind of nerfed the barrel. If you guys know what barrel I'm talking about. The first barrel. But I'm going to show you guys in a, a net in a minute. But anyway, I'm going to explain you guys this class. So, so on the muzzle, we got the J-A-K-B-F-B uh, muzzle this is actually the new muzzle you get from the battle pass to unlocking the new DLC weapon of the SMG of the HR uh, M9 so everybody use this like <laughs> look at this on the pro we got a lot of gun control we got a lot of variable recoil control and we got a lot of heroes on the recoil control but everything just chalk of the uh comp of the mobility and handling but look at that recoil control just man i'm telling you guys just crazy though every, you can use on every gun i think smgs as well i think but probably with like battle rifles uh uh ars lmgs like that and stuff but i don't know about snipers like that and like that and stuff like that or handguns but on the recoil control look at that just crazy like look at that gun control 60 percent yeah, it's gonna really help out that hair was on it. And then Varicle and Low Down. So you're gonna have zero recoil with this muzzle, just mind blown. So try it out. With the barrel, we got the second uh line memo heavy barrel. I use this a lot, but if you guys you know this first barrel got nerd. I'm gonna show you guys this long patch notes on screen right now. I ain't gonna explain to it, but I'm gonna show you guys the whole patch notes on screen, what they actually did. And they kind of nerfed the um the heavy stop barrel, but I'm gonna show you guys that too as well. But this is it's still good though. But if you guys remember, it was three the bullet velocity and range, it was three, then they nerfed it, they changed it so it's a two now. But it's still good though, it's still good though, you know, it don't matter though. But I use this one, and it's very, very good. But it don't matter though, it don't matter. You still can use that both of them, it don't matter though for it though. But they they both good this uh first one and uh you know the fourth one so they good to so try it out and I'm sure you guys the details on this one and then the details on this one because you could tell if you guys remember it was it went more than that before and then after update of season one reloaded patch notes they they change it they definitely change it and then you can see the difference on that one so I haven't seen people use this barrel a lot but I've seen people use this because this is actually the best barrel to use in Modern Warfare three of the NCW for it to try it out. With the underbarrel, we got the Mark Full Grip. Now, I know you guys going to probably ask me why I'm using the Mark Full Grip on this uh, uh, after uh, pack. Because if you guys didn't know, this after pack does have a lot of recoil. But I'm, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys anyway. Okay, look at this. Like, look at the recoil control and the velocity. Just crazy. Only thing crazy about this on the Pro, it got Rectifier. We got uh, 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 Mobility and Handling. My bad, right there. Damage and Close Range. And you got uh fire and tax spraying like that and stuff like but I'm sure you guys detail like look at this damage chalk range chalk only thing good is a varicle 
and then everything in building team and in handling is good in accuracy. Just and you got fire rate as well, 12 20 percent plus of it. Yeah, so that's why it got buff. And then I think I already showed you guys the patches on that one too as well. So yeah, and then we got the um, under bear we got the mark full grip. So this is why I use it. I mean I could use a different one, but it got nine percent, nine percent, nine percent on everything on the recoil control. And then we got a lot crazy on the accuracy, but moving speed and like I say crouch move speed and idiot move speed is chalk, but it get a job done. Have a recoil to try it out. And then with the opti we got the uh mark two three reflex. Or you don't have to use it. You can use this one right here, the modern uh twenty three uh twenty twenty three. My bad. And you can use the, you know, Kermit Mint Pro 1, Salon Ron Pro 1, this one, <laughs> you know, other ones. But everybody right now using is these two right here. These are broke, the most broken, like, sculpt ones in Warzone. Like, for real, though. Or this one right here, though. But try out this class of the guys of the MCW, of the, you know, after pack class of the MCW. It's crazy how this gun got buffed. But they did nerf the first barrel. Yeah, that's mind blowing. And they nerfed, oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys the stock. Damn, shoot, damn shoot target, my bad. Uh, they, they they nerfed this one. They nerfed this stock right here. They nerfed it. Yeah, they kind of nerfed it. Yeah, but I'm gonna show you guys the patch on the screen on that one too. So why not? As long as that one thing as well. So why not? Trying to show everything for you guys so you guys don't like tell me. Uh, I know people are coming on my videos like, bro, why you didn't show this about the stock and this and that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyway. So why not? You know, but I'm gonna shoot target for you guys. But yeah, try out this class of the guys of this alpha pack. I never try out this alpha pack on this gun. But yeah, it's only good for, probably for like I say close range and maybe mid range. But long range is like yeah, the chart though. But free free chart out this top five class look guys. This top five class look is actually good. We got this SMG, we got the LMG, we got the Ram 7, we got the Swarm, got buff, and then this got buff as well. Um yeah, these two deals with it did not get buffed, so they was like dropped like you know on the 17th. And then the Ram 7. People say it got buff in Warzone, but most players did not get touched. So, yeah, I mean, the Ram 7 is just good. So, that's what I'm gonna say though. But try out this whole top five broken class of the guys, or I could say guns to use in Modern Warfare 3 after update in Season 1 Reloader. These guns is so good. Let me know you guys pop out, drop Luke, and let me know what you guys uh, think about this class or like that. I mean, you don't have to use the class up, but if people want to be better at COD, drop noobs, pop all, go and get switch char hearts in the game, like get kill feed, get MP, get advanced with V, et cetera, et cetera, or get a freaking juggernaut, whatever like that. That's what I'm gonna say though, for the gunship. That's what I'm gonna say though, man. But drop it out, share noobs. See you guys next time.